In this video, we'll talk about automation. Automation sounds like a scary, magical thing, but it's actually not as complicated as you think. There certainly are versions of automation where you are writing really hard code to do really hard things, but there are also versions that are actually really simple and really powerful and can save you a lot of time and avoid errors and make your job more fun. There are different versions of it. You can use software, for example, that you can use graphical interfaces to move data between different things or take different actions automatically. Even formulas in Google Sheets can be considered automation. And obviously there are scripts, but some are simple. Some are really easy scripts that you can just copy and paste or edit slightly to do very cool things. This is a software called Zapier. And this is a zap. A zap is triggered when something happens in one piece of software and takes action in another piece of software. So you can see here, whenever we get a new order in Shopify, we do all these other things. We move from Shopify, we pull the data that was created when the order was created, we do all these things to the data, and then depending on factors in that order, whether it was for delivery or shipping or pickup or other, re other things, we then move that data into Google Sheets. So it's all graphical, it's all really simple, you just follow the steps and it'll walk you through the process. But it's really powerful that we can then take every order from Shopify, move it into Google Sheets, and we can manage it from there and do whatever we want to do with it. We can use formulas and other functions and do other powerful things. So that's one example of automation that is really simple and it's just done through the graphical interface and can save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration and avoid errors. One other simple example of automation is this import range formula. What this does is it pulls data in from another sheet, from this spreadsheet, whenever it changes there automatically. So it's really just making a copy of the other sheet to here. You can, we can debate whether it's truly automation, but it is somewhat powerful that you can have this formula here that updates this sheet automatically every time it updates in another file somewhere else. So it's a nice way to keep one source of truth for data where you know that the original data is somewhere else, but then you can put this data in as many other places as you want, and it'll never change. You have to update it in just one place. It'll save a lot of time and, and effort. And then we have scripts. Certainly these are getting more complicated. I'm not saying you're gonna start doing JavaScript or coding right away, but you'll realize throughout this course, especially as we get near the end where we start doing a little bit of this, that it's more doable than you think it is. And with just a little bit of skill, a little bit of Google, a little bit of time, you can do some really cool things.